What's up Chiefs Kingdom, Noah Gray here, tight end for the Kansas City Chiefs. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to Joss's channel and check out showmefootball.com for more. What is up Chiefs Kingdom, welcome back to yet another video on my channel. My name is Josh Fan of showmefootball.com and arrowheadaddict.com and today I felt the need to address the Justin Ross conversation and I also just wanted to try this out because one of my colleagues at Arrowhead Addict, Adam Best, tweeted out that there's a feeding frenzy right now for Justin Ross content. So I decided I'm going to jump in on the Justin Ross conversation and see how that goes. But actually, I did think it was worth talking about for a minute because I didn't realize, you know, just how big the Justin Ross hype train was this offseason. And this was something that we dealt with, you know, last offseason when the Chiefs picked up Justin Ross as an undrafted free agent out of Clemson. And we had these same conversations, but they popped up once again as more videos are surfacing of Justin Ross working out or catching passes from Patrick Mahomes. And speaking of Patrick Mahomes, he even talked about Justin Ross in a press conference earlier this week. Here's what he had to say. When asked about Ross, Mahomes said, The talent is through the roof. He's gotten better and better. Even though he wasn't active last year, he was in the building and got to see how we do things. I'm excited for him. Patrick Mahomes is obviously very high on Justin Ross. The Chiefs put out a video on their social media account, and it was a video of Mahomes throwing a dime to Justin Ross, and they did that for a reason. The Chiefs know exactly what they're doing when they tweet out a video like that. They know the hype around Justin Ross. But, you know, what? what is all of this about? You know, what? what is the truth about Justin Ross? And I am going to tell you all the truth about Justin Ross and the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, you know that Justin Ross was once one of the biggest wide receiver prospects in college football. He had 1,000 yards receiving as a true freshman at Clemson University in 2018. He also had nine touchdowns and averaged 21.7 yards per catch as a freshman. And in the national championship game versus Alabama the next year, Justin Ross was the best player on the field. He was once seen as someone that could be a very good NFL wide receiver and then injuries started to happen he had a neck fusion surgery and he had a broken foot in 2021 before entering the NFL draft his production obviously dropped off a cliff he wasn't the same guy and injuries have really plagued him and then the Chiefs took a shot on him as an undrafted free agent following the 2022 NFL draft they gave him a hefty deal for an undrafted free agent to convince him to come to Kansas City over a lot of other teams. There were other teams knocking on Justin Ross's door, trying to kick it down, trying to get him to sign with them as an undrafted free agent because everyone knows the potential that Justin Ross has. They saw what he was able to do at Clemson. They were just too afraid to spend a draft pick on him knowing the injury history because the injury history is a big deal. I mean, this is a guy that basically had his spine worked on and he had a broken foot that affected his pre-draft athletic testing and made him look like a much worse athlete than we know that he is. He obviously spent all of last season inactive, as Patrick Mahomes said, and he didn't play. He spent the year just trying to get his body right, learning the Chiefs system, and then this year he's going to have a chance to crack the main roster, and this is as good of an opportunity as he's going to get. And the Chiefs wide receiver room is desperately asking for somebody to step up and be a difference maker. And that's where this is a great opportunity for Justin Ross. The Chiefs have had a real lack of activity in the wide receiver free agent market. And though we're not through the draft yet, their wide receiver room, their top three is MVS, Kadarius Tony, and Sky Moore. Everyone feels like they need another guy. And now they're asking themselves, can Justin Ross be that guy? He was the former highly rated prospect coming out of the NFL draft and injuries plagued him, but he has the potential to be a star. You know, why can't it be him? And now we're seeing these workout videos and people are getting excited. And I'm going to address the truth on this situation, how Chiefs fans should feel about Justin Ross. So first of all, you should have zero expectations for Justin Ross. Now, that's not me writing him off. I'm not saying that you can't have faith in Justin Ross. I'm just saying... It's better to have zero expectations for Justin Ross because that's how every UDFA should be treated. He shouldn't be relying on an undrafted free agent to fill a major roster need, you know, fill a major hole on your team. The Chiefs should not be banking on Justin Ross to be 
their solution at wide receiver. Not only because we don't know how he's going to look in the NFL, but because, again, the injury concerns. You know, we talk about Canarius Tony and how worried we are about him because he can't stay healthy. Justin Ross is in the same boat. The guy had two major surgeries in the last couple years of his college career. So not only does Justin Ross have it going against him by the odds because UDFAs tend to not be anything 80 to 90% of the time, but also his medical history suggests it's going to be extremely hard for him to make it in the NFL. Justin Ross is not a player that you prepare or plan for. Justin Ross is the type of player that if he does end up being good, okay, fine, then you figure out the rest later. That's a good problem to have. But you should still be addressing the receiver position like you don't know what you have and that Justin Ross isn't going to be a factor. Um, because that is honestly the case. Like we don't, there's a good chance Justin Ross isn't a factor and we don't know if he's going to contribute whatsoever. But then if you draft a good receiver and they end up starting for you and having a really good rookie season, and then you have MVS, Sky Moore, Kadarius, Tony, and those guys do what we hope they can do. Then you have Justin Ross. Okay, then you have a little bit of a log jam at receiver. But again, a good problem to have, and you can figure out the rest later. Like, if Justin Ross does end up being really good, well, then maybe MVS becomes expendable next year, and you can cut him and save some money. So, ultimately, the Chiefs should just operate like Justin Ross doesn't even exist. And fan perception is, like, the main reason for me making this video. I see one extreme side of Chiefs Kingdom that's like, oh, shut up about Justin Ross. Oh, he's not going to be good. Why do Chiefs fans keep talking about Justin Ross? He's never going to do anything. And then there's a side of Chiefs Kingdom that's like, Justin Ross is a star in the waiting. and No one knows how dangerous he's going to be this year. All this stuff. And both sides are wrong. Okay? Like, I've seen a lot of prominent Chiefs figures, a lot of prominent Chiefs accounts. People that cover the Chiefs, they're like, Justin Ross sucks. You know, Justin Ross isn't going to do anything. Let's stop talking about Justin Ross. And to pretend like Justin Ross doesn't have any chance of being a good player is disrespectful and it's incorrect because there is a chance Justin Ross is a good player in the NFL. He has that kind of talent. He has that kind of potential. There's just a lot of questions surrounding it, but it's not impossible that he becomes good. If he stays healthy, there's a very good chance that he is a good NFL receiver and in and when we say good NFL receiver or we say, you know, having expectations for Justin Ross, that doesn't even mean people are saying that he's going to step in and have a thousand yards in his first year playing. What if he steps in and he has like 400 yards and a couple of touchdowns? Okay, you still take that. And some people are even just trying to say that, that, hey, I think Justin Ross can have 300 yards and four touchdowns and help the Chiefs next year. Okay, I'm not going to fight you on that prediction. So to act like Justin Ross has zero shot, I'm sorry, that's just, it's, it's disrespectful and it's wrong. And then the other end of people who think Justin Ross is going to step in, have a thousand yards, look, the odds are already against him. Now that alone does not mean that he can't be good, but even if he plays and he stays healthy, like, you know how it is for rookie wide receivers on the Chiefs. Now, of course, Justin Ross has had a year in the system now, He's had a year to look at the playbook. He's been in the Chiefs organization. It's still a different animal when you actually step onto the field. And also, it's going to take Justin Ross a while probably to still get his body right and get his body back to 100% strength, heal those injuries that he had, get back into game shape. That all might take an entire season for everything to come together, for him to even be a factor. So I, I'm not out here agreeing with you guys saying that he's going to have like 800 to 1,000 yards. He's going to be wide receiver one. There's zero chance. Like, I, I think I, I can confidently say that there's zero chance that Justin Ross becomes a wide receiver one next year. I just don't see that in the cards for him. Not just because I think it's going to take a year for him to even get acclimated in the NFL, but I think the Chiefs will draft a wide receiver relatively high. And if that happens, then you're talking about an opportunity issue. I guess issue is kind of a strong word, but like they're going to want to get their rookie wide receiver that they invested a high draft pick in some snaps. And then again, you already have MVS, Kadarius, Tony, Sky, Moore, and the Chiefs have a plan for those guys already too. So all in all, Justin Ross has an okay chance to be a good player, 
but he also has just as good of a chance that he never does anything in the NFL. And that's just the reality with undrafted free agents. Most of them never become anything because we do this song and dance every single year where the Chiefs pick up some undrafted free agents and Chiefs fans are like, oh, this player could be a steal. That player could be a steal. Um, other fans do it for their players too or their undrafted free agents. They're like, oh my God, this guy could be a steal. And that's just not how it works. Like Most of those guys end up never becoming anything. It's the same with undrafted free agents. There's maybe one or two every year that stick around on the practice squad, spend a couple years on the practice squad, and then maybe end up being a contributor. Like Byron Pringle is a good example. He's one of the few that have worked out, and he got a second contract somewhere else you know, with the Chicago Bears. Um, he ended up getting hurt and not having a good year for them. But, I mean, he was an undrafted free agent, and then he ended up being – a decent piece for the Chiefs later on, but it took him even three, I want to say like two or three years to do anything really or get that opportunity. So I would expect a similar path for Justin Ross if he's going to do even what Byron Pringle did. But that's the truth about Justin Ross, guys. Like I've seen so much discourse about Justin Ross and how fans think about him, and I just felt like I should get my take out there and just be – the voice of reason amidst Justin Ross discourse. But yeah, guys, that's all I got for this video. Those are my thoughts on Justin Ross and his odds of doing anything for the Kansas City Chiefs this year. Uh, but I want to hear from you guys, though. If you agree, disagree, how you feel about Justin Ross, what your predictions are for him, let me know down in the comments. And with all that being said, make sure you like, share, and subscribe so more Chiefs fans can find this. And make sure you check out my work on showmefootball.com and arrowheadaddict.com. And I will see you all in the next one. Go Chiefs!